फ्रेंड्स वी वुड लाइक टू फाइंड सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ अ कैंटिलीवर बीम सो विल फर्स्ट ड्रॉ अ कैंटिलीवर बीम एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसीजर टू फाइंड द सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ अ कैंटिलीवर बीम सो वी हैव गॉट दिस कैंटिलीवर बीम हियर दिस एंड इज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस एंड इज पॉइंट बी एंड पॉइंट बी इज बेसिकली फिक्स एंड सो इट इज बीन फिक्सड विथ अ रिजिट सपोर्ट वी कैन से so we've got a cantilever beam and let's say the length of the cantilever beam is l units from here to here the length is l units okay and if the point load p is acting at this point let's say point c and the distance between point c and point b is let's say this distance is distance a so if you see here we have got a single support which is a fixed support at point b so at this particular point b we are going to get a support reaction so there will be a support reaction acting at a point b and this support reaction we can call as support reaction that is r at point b for a cantilever beam we shall also be getting a moment reaction because this cantilever beam is trying to rotate about this particular point b so this support should prevent the rotation of beam by applying a moment reaction at this particular point this is a very important concept so there will be a moment reaction also acting at this particular point like this so we'll be having support reaction rb and there will be a moment reaction let me call mb acting at point b so that it prevents the rotation of beam in this particular direction which is anti clockwise so this moment reaction will be in clockwise sense okay so now this is the point to be noted that for a cantilever beam at fixed support we'll be getting a support reaction that is a force rb and there'll be a moment reaction which is moment at point b okay so now we would like to find the value of rb which is support reaction which is a force and we wanted to find a moment reaction mb which is a moment okay so again we'll go, we'll be following same procedure which is the condition of static equilibrium so let me do it so by condition of static equilibrium so we know that summation of forces in vertical direction equal to zero summation of forces in horizontal direction equal to zero and you can take summation of moment about any particular point so i'm going to take point b summation of moment about point b equal to zero so we got three conditions so by condition of static equilibrium friends we got three conditions over here one is summation of forces in the vertical direction equal to zero the second one is summation of forces in the horizontal direction equal to zero and the third one is moment of forces about point b equal to zero i have taken this particular point you can take any particular point and you can say that summation of moment about that point is zero so now so we don't have any force in the horizontal direction so this condition would be ruled out friends will not bother about this condition because we don't have any force in the x direction so we shall only take this particular condition and this particular condition so let me do it therefore by condition summation of forces in the vertical direction equal to 0 we shall be getting let me show you what are the forces acting in the vertical direction so this is p force this is a point load acting in downward direction downward we take negative so it's a minus p and then this rb is acting in upward direction for so rb equal to 0 because there is no other force acting over here so this will give you friends rb equal to p straight forward that's very simple the downward force equal to upward force so rb equal to p which is straight forward condition we have got so this is the value of rb we got friends okay so let me name this as equation 1 now we shall be using this third one that is now we shall be using the third condition which is summation of moments about point b equal to 0 so we'll take point b over here so we'll make point b as hinge and we'll see due to application of forces and moments how it is going to rotate so therefore the second uh, third condition i'm using therefore by third condition which is summation of moments about point b equal to 0 so from here we'll be getting now this p is going to rotate this beam about point b in anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise i am taking negative minus p 
p into the distances from here to here is a so p into a so this is negative because it is anti clockwise friends i have taken like this okay then next this moment is clockwise which is acting at point b so mb is clockwise so it is plus i am going to write plus mb and that whole thing is going to be zero kindly remember this is the clockwise i am saying clockwise positive and this is anti clockwise moment so i am taking it as a negative so if i simplify this i'll get mb equals p into a so the magnitude of point load p and its distance from point b that is a so p into a is equal to moment reaction acting at point b over here so like this we can find out the force reaction acting at point b and the moment reaction acting at point b you can call this as equation number 2 friends so this way you can find out the moment reaction and the force reaction acting at the support point b for a cantilever beam you can see here okay so i'll just give one very simple straight straightforward example so you can simply solve by using same conditions so let's see one simple example to understand how we can use the same rule to find out the moment reaction and the support reaction acting at fixed end of a cantilever beam so let me take an example here and the example is find the support reaction and moment reaction of a given cantilever beam so i'll draw a cantilever beam over here so there's a point load acting at this particular point that is the free end of the beam so this point let me call as point a and this point i'm calling as point b and let's say the length of this beam is 3 meters and the magnitude of this particular point load is let's say 100 newtons so there's a 100 newton force acting over here so this cantilever beam is going to have a force support reaction over here and let me call this as reaction at point b so it is also going to have a moment reaction at the point b so this is going to be called as moment at point b we need to calculate support reaction which is a force and a moment reaction acting at point b okay so this beam is going to rotate in the anti clockwise direction due to application of this point load 100 newton so this anti clockwise rotation of the beam is prevented by application of a support moment reaction that is mb acting at point b okay so this is how we have to understand now we need to find out the value of mb so by using this particular method mb is going to be straight forward that is load p into its distance from the fixed support so it is 100 into its distance from fixed support is 3 meter okay 100 into its distance from fixed support that is 3 meters so 100 into 3 300 newton meters straight forward friends and similarly the force reaction that is rv is same as the value of point load acting on the cantilever beam since we have only one point load so it is straight forward 100 newton need not to do entire calculation as we did earlier because we have got the condition for single point load that is force reaction rv equal to p that is point load and the moment reaction that is mb is equal to point load into a now we can also extend the same concept for a beam having multiple point loads acting on it so that we will discuss in the next part thank you very much